Because of the pandemic, a popular Bay Area-based candy company had to close temporarily this year for only the second time in its 99-year history. But Sharon Chin shows us how it's finding its new sweet spot in a story you'll see only on Five. When 200-pound Santa takes his annual spot atop Seas Candies in South San Francisco, it lifts the spirits of neighbors like Michelle Egan. It's just a sign that the holidays are here. And the 99-year-old company hopes its confections will spread some cheer this challenging year. It was very hard because that's uncharted waters. CEO Pat that's Egan, no relation to customer Michelle, says the COVID-19 lockdown closed all 240 plus stores nationwide for months. From its San Francisco corporate headquarters, the company pulled off a pandemic pivot on this principle. If it doesn't keep our people safe, if it doesn't take care of our customers, and if we can't live with the decision, we're not going to do it. Seas had already produced everything for Easter in March, so production had stopped, but they were left with all the seasonal candy. Pat called nonprofits serving the elderly and low income. We gave away literally everything. We had to in part because we don't add preservatives. It was the first time Seas shut down since World War II when the lack of quality ingredients limited production. It was like a trading desk. Come in, get your candy, get out, and when the last one sold, we closed. This year, C survived on online sales and a new no-contact store pickup option. For several months there, we were at two and three hundred percent of our year-over-year -year sales. Because of fans like Michelle. In fact, chocolate and candy sales in general jumped five percent, according to the National Confectioners Association. It's kind of essential during during this pandemic. It helps keep us going. Did you want me to wrap it for you today? By fall, Seas had reopened its stores, 10 each week, with plexiglass, masks, and limited capacity. And here's their unique take on the six-foot distancing rule. It's equivalent to 34 pieces of chocolate or 24 lollipops. Happy holidays. Now, the company says, the holidays are looking bright, thanks to shoppers like Jenny Giotis you guys are so nice. and Eric Johnson. For them, Seas is synonymous with holidays. I'm sending sweets and happiness during a tough time. I'm not going to get to see family members over Christmas, so I'm going to send them a box of Seas candy. I'm sending them Christmas tradition. The way we've gotten through this is our connection with our customers. And Pat says the company's now ready to mark 100 years of candy based on Mary C's original recipes. We're going to find a way to celebrate for sure. Have a great holiday. A sweet way to start a new century. In South San Francisco, Sharon Chin, KPIX 5. Isn't it too bad chocolate doesn't kill the virus? That would just be perfect. After the holiday sees, will debut a new piece of candy every month as part of its centennial celebration.